I have a feeling that she's in pain. This is a disaster. I need to get my vet on the phone right now. Can I or can I? I noticed something in Ginger's demeanor. I have a feeling that she's in pain. Any medical issues? Yes. Yeah. She had surgery on the knee, so yep. she had one done, and she needs the other one done. She does? Yes. I mean, she's walking fine and all that stuff. Do you think so. she feels pain, though? You know, I don't know. My concern is that that knee is causing her pain, which is making her irritable. I believe that. Fascinating. <laughs> yes, it hurt, didn't it, darling? I saw that. What happened? I missed She it. just stopped, because it hurt, and she went round Aww. to her back. Ginger, you're in pain? Mm -hmm. I can see that limb. Mm -hmm. Dogs will aggress a lot if they feel pain, and that pain causes irritability. We Should need to have the veterinarian come over. I need to get my vet on the phone right now because I'm worried about Ginger. Cindy, how are you? What's wrong? I'm okay. What's going on with Ginger? I think it's a leg. I think it got worse. Okay. Right. I think I'll it got worse. On the way in when I can have an She's definitely limping. Today. Hey, it's Victoria here. Hi, how are you? Hey, I'm fine, thank you. Um, I don't want to be putting her through her paces when she's in pain. I want to move forward safely. I want to be cautious. I don't want to cause any more pain to Ginger. So I really need the veterinarian's advice on how to proceed. I'm with Victoria now, dog training. So the question is, can I or can I? I mean, I don't... Is she, I... Is she using her leg? Is she putting any weight on it? Yes, yeah, she is walking on it. But she is limping. We really want her to rest. After letting Ginger rest for the remainder of the evening, Victoria begins the next day addressing Ginger's knee problem. Ginger's had a lot of problems with her knee. She's already had knee surgery on one, now she needs surgery on the other. But I'm concerned that she's overweight. I think the weight is putting pressure on an already damaged knee. And I want her to be able to get exercise that uh, is going to be beneficial for her, but is not going to hurt her knee. So hydrotherapy is where it's at. But before Victoria proceeds with her plan, she has to clear it with Ginger's personal veterinarian. She's going to eventually need surgery on her leg to fix her luxating patella. If we can do light training with her and, you know, the water therapy is really good for her if Ginger agrees to it. Oh, hi. This wow. is Jill. I arrive, there's water everywhere, and my dog does not like the water. Ginger's scared to death. She's shaking like a leaf. So um, I wanted to bring Jill here. Um, we've got Ginger in the bag. I wanted to give Jill some kind of outlet to exercise her without walking her. Exercising in the water, it's a great low impact and no impact exercise. It burns a lot of calories without putting pressure on those joints. And um, She's not a big water dog, I have right. to tell you. I don't think this is going to work. She doesn't like to swim. It's OK, man. Actually, if you wouldn't mind holding her, I'm going to put this on her. Ginger's my baby. I don't want to make her do something she doesn't want to do. Hold on a second. So you're going to, this thing's I'm, filling I'm up I'm with you? I'm going to hold her while the water comes in, and then I'm going to put her down. Hi, baby. Oh, yes. Good girl. They have these, like, little bathtubs, and the dog is standing, and the water starts to fill up, sort of like the Titanic. Go ahead and start us at point three, please. Rain water. Ginger was freaked out. It takes them a few minutes to get a rhythm. Once they do, I'll see how she's using it. She has a luxating patella, which is her kneecap. It's popping out of the groove on her on the bone of her leg. It's the right leg? OK. She's kind of leaning to this side. And then the therapist started rubbing her tushy. Her muscles um, are very strong on her left side. Right, right. And there is some atrophy on her right hind. so. She's definitely shifting her weight to her strong leg on the left and probably also forward a little bit. I'm like in shock right now. She's like letting you hold her and pet her. But after a while, she began to relax. And then she put it on again and Ginger started to run straight. I was shocked. It's really unbelievable to watch. She was like tilted and then she got straight. I think this is so awesome. I'm like only in New York. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's doing better already. Yeah, good, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. There. Good. Oh, good. Come on, baby doll. OK, you can go to mommy. But you still have more work to do. Yeah, OK? We're not done yet. So I thought the little pool was it. But then the trainer said, now we're going to go to the big pool. I'm like, wait a minute. I thought we're done. Good girl. Good girl, Ginger. Good girl. 
Ginger's a little nervous. I mean, she's, I don't know if this is gonna be okay. I may have to pull her out of the pool. Good girl, Ginger, good girl. It's okay, no one's gonna hurt. You're a good swimmer. I'm watching her little eyeballs bug out of her head, and I thought she was gonna jump out of her skin. Hello, mommy. Hi. Hi. But then there was sort of a calmness transformation. I think she started to like it. In fact, I know she started to like it. Hi, mommy. Like a champion at the Olympics. Ginger was just like running for it, running for it, slow motion. It's like, go, Ginger, go, go, Ginger, go. She's sticking with both legs. She is good. Very good. Let me see those back legs. You're such a pretty girl. I took a picture thinking that this could be my holiday card next year. You're not scared. You're not going to drown. The life vest is saving you. Good girl. You going to swim to mommy? Do you have a car service that picks up and takes dogs here? Sure. You do, right? What I'm really excited about is the behavioral effects of this exercise, because when reactive dogs, as she is, have more exercise, they become less reactive. She's definitely coming back, and I think this is gonna be part of her regular routine. So I'm gonna get her a life jacket, a really cute life jacket, and I'm gonna take a swim. All right, Ginger, listen. I've been very stressed out lately since Victoria left us, okay? You've been like a nightmare a little bit in the last week. You've like reverted back, so I'm thinking like you're a little stressed and need a little massage. Okay. Rather than follow Victoria's prescription for hydrotherapy and behavior training. Don't be scared. Jill has decided to try something different. I thought it'd be nice to bring my friend Ann with me while I let Ginger get her first massage. Oh yeah, that's not gonna work. She might <laughs> on this pillow. <laughs> She's getting really nervous. It's okay, mommy. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Look, my hand is okay, look. Let go? Yeah. You got it. Or she'll be on my lap just barking at you and barking at you and barking at you and I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Stop. Give her a shot of Jack Daniels and a value. I, you see, that's all. <laughs> what do I need a dog trainer for? <laughs> Victoria has been on my mind all week ever since Ginger started deteriorating. It's a big commitment, it really is. I just have to find the time and I haven't yet, but I promised her I would. Jill's unable to stick to the training but she's been ratted out. I made a phone call and found that she had taken Ginger to the spa. The people you Hello, love. Oh my, my God, dear. Victoria! Oh my Hello. God! Hi. How are you been? Oh no, oh no, You're what's not happened? Hello. 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 Hello, nice to meet you. Good to meet you, and oh. oh. It's been gone. Oh. She's not, but it's not gosh. that much. Ginger was having a massage. I, I really don't think she was enjoying it that much. Ginger is not a dog that likes to be touched by anybody else except Jill. I'm gonna take you. Come here, Okay. Mommy. So this is what's been going on. She's barking, barking, barking. Take a seat so that you can okay. sit down with her. Um, all right. That's where I'm stuck at. But what about the hydrotherapy? We didn't do it yet. Because Why? I, I wanted to take her and I've been, I know, I've been traveling. No she excuses. Like Ginger's not on track because Jill hasn't put in the time and the work with Ginger. So Ginger's gone back to what she was like before. I had my second chance with Victoria and all I can think is, please be a third. 